What's going on gamers? Today, let's go over the Farming Crossing 4 mod pack in Minecraft. Animal Crossing is a super popular game, and if you want to recreate that feel in the Minecraft game, then look no further than Farming Crossing 4, offering you a wide variety of content similar to the game. Observe creatures, log them in your collection, explore the vast world to discover unique villagers, and advance through quests. If you don't already have a Minecraft server, make sure to purchase one before following the next steps. Once that's done, head towards your Apex server panel and find the game file section, and then click on the currently selected option and type Farming Crossing 4. Once that's found, click on it and continue to confirm all of the changes. And then after this, you can install the mod pack on your CurseForge launcher. To do this, just download the launcher and then search for the pack in the Browse Mod Pack section. Press install, wait for it to load, and then you can press play on the pack. When you load into the game, you're going to have a lot to explore, like unique structures, villagers, environments, animals, and more. There are even a few cosmetic items to customize your in-game character, and a wide variety of decorations to amplify your home. One of the first steps you'll want to do is open the quest menu, accessible by pressing the back tick on your keyboard or in the top right corner of your inventory. This is where you're going to find all of the missions to complete, along with FAQ information about the mod pack. Whenever you finish one, in most cases you're going to receive rewards to help you along the way. A common activity in Farming Crossing 4 is to observe the wildlife, which helps complete your collections. There are hundreds of species to find in the game with this mod pack, including hostile mobs that lurk underground. The vast majority of these creatures are passive though, with many residing in the oceans. If you want special rewards, then you can find all of the different types of mobs in Farming Crossing 4. Each one will be determined by a different category or biome. Keep in mind that there are other collection logs too, such as for cooking, offering similar rewards whenever you complete it. Along with the animals, you'll also be introduced to new villages, which come in all shapes and sizes. Some of these will be large towns on mountains or fortresses in the sky. I would say a big part is exploring the world and discovering these structures, since they offer you diverse villagers to interact with including special trade offers with custom items. Almost all of the villagers will have a unique role, skin, and name. Because of this, the best way to kickstart your Farming Crossing 4 adventure is to find a nearby village, which shouldn't be too difficult. In cases where you're unable to find one, don't forget that they can be generated in the sky as a fortress, so make sure to look up. One of the other most important aspects of this mod pack is definitely the ability to completely customize your bases. This comes in the form of unique decorations, functional blocks, and other features. Some of them might be required to complete a quest, such as a cooking stove. The best way to get started is to follow along each mission to advance your knowledge of decorations. And like I said earlier, Farming Crossing 4 offers a wide variety of unique environments to explore. These range from large deep forests, flowery fields with wild vegetation, large mountains with rivers, and a lot more. The unique generation of terrain also applies for underground biomes filled with custom blocks and environments. Digging deeper might reveal large caverns or enhanced mine shafts with good salute. And obviously, one of the most important features of the mod pack is farming. You can expect to find all kinds of vegetables and crops to grow in your farm, later used for cooking or baking. Examples include tomatoes, rice, onions, cabbages, and more. Most of these are found naturally, but they can also be obtained by trading or by looting chests in nearby villages. There are a ton of other features from the Farming Crossing 4 mod pack to explore that include cosmetic armor, clothing, custom equipment, statues, plushies, and more. Players are given the capability to even build large factories of their own with the Create mod. You're able to get started by viewing the quest menu and searching for this feature, since it's going to help you with the first steps. Now, before we go over some frequently asked questions, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click that notification bell to stay up to date on all of our future videos. Which Minecraft version is for the Farming Crossing 4 mod pack? This mod pack is only available for Minecraft Forge 1.20.1 with no other versions available. How many mods are in the Farming Crossing 4 mod pack? There are over 200 mods in this mod pack, making it a medium-sized pack. 
how much memory is required for the mod pack. Due to the size, 2-3 to three gigabytes is the bare minimum, but of course, the more the better. Turning Minecraft into a game similar to Animal Crossing is something that might be perfect for you. Whether you focus on baking goods or progressing through the quests, you have so much to try out, so grab some friends and explore all of the new possibilities with Farming Crossing 4. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, then subscribe or click these videos. Until next time, gamers.